Hi everybody, this is Richard Nickel with Pittsburgh Modular Synthesizers to very quickly, hopefully, walk you through a filter of crows. Now, a filter of crows is based around the original crow filter, but we have expanded on it in just about every way. So our patch, very briefly, we have a saw wave coming out of a Captain Bigo here behind my head that goes into the filter of crows, the output then going into the wolf, which we'll talk about in another video, but for now, we're just using it as a VCA. All the modulation we're gonna hear is coming from function junction. The ADSR is modulating the wolf and the function generator is modulating the frequency cutoffs right now of the filter of crows. I have that set off right now so we can just do it manually and then off camera I have a key step so I can play some notes. So let's start with a nice clean sound coming out of crows. And this is the Pittsburgh filter core. So this is the same creamy smooth filter we've had. And just sort of tweaking it over the years. And that's with no resonance I can add. And we call this our no dead spots filter because it, you really can sweep the entire frequency range. It's nice and smooth, sounds great. Now, if we want to dive back into what made the Crow module fantastic, that 75X preamp, we have that. It's a flip of a switch, so I can add that. And there it is. We can use our gain. To set the amount. All the way to nothing. But again, huge gain without ever sounding harsh. If we switch this to a sine wave coming out of big O here, we still have the drive on. Just nice and creamy. Well, that sounds, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so we switch back to a saw wave here. And we are listening to the low pass, but you can see in this module, low pass, band pass, and high pass are all switchable. So we can have, we'll turn off the drive for a moment here. And we can switch on the band pass, just leaving low pass on for the moment. So we have both. We can turn all three on if we want. Turn off the low pass. So this is just high in band. I think that sounds really neat. Just band pass. Just high pass. High and low, you end up with a very small notch filter. And back to just low. One of the interesting things about the state vari variable filter topology is that you can have theoretically near infinite resonance without self-oscillation. So the resonance is always going to take up as much headroom as you can give it. So attenuating the incoming signal gives you more room for resonance, but it's never going to self-oscillate unless you want it to. And for that, we have the stability mode. Now it's in stability mode right now, meaning it's not going to self-oscillate. And what that does is really, if we turn the resonance up all the way and we flip stability off, we can then continue adding more and more resonance until it breaks up and falls apart. And I think a really, really nice way. There it goes. But this area right before it breaks up, so much going on there. 
add that with the drive. And it's just creamy fuzz. back to our clean saw sound. Now we do, I can turn on the CV input. They're both attenuverters for both frequency and resonance CV. And when you're using the attenuverters, the CV input, what your the frequency knob becomes the offset then. So this is this point that the CV will start from. So if you set this full open, you don't really get much from it, but you can invert it. In which case, the function generator is removing. But if we flip it around the other way, we can add. And we can do the same thing with resonance here. We'll open up our frequency. Turn off the stability mode. Bandpass, so it's just low pass now. We're using resonance in the negative, we can switch that to positive. So, there you go, that's a quick walkthrough of a filter of crows. More information is available at Pittsburgh's Modular website, uh, pittsburghmodular.com, and thank you very much for watching.